you guys i told y'all i was coming back i know i'm a little late i said i was gonna get on here at 1 p.m but i didn't get off the uh live last night till like five o'clock this morning my butt was hurting i had been sitting in this chair for eight hours but um as soon as i woke up and got myself together ate my breakfast and stuff i came on live i told y'all i was coming back today um so you guys we finna figure out like what's gonna be going on this week okay what's the energy um what you guys need to know what's coming towards you and you guys remember that this reading will not resonate with everyone so take what resonate with you and leave the rest behind okay also you guys i've been telling everybody um that it's scammers out there it's people that's pretending to be me so y'all definitely um pay attention to this especially if they're inboxing you for readings i would never ever do that i track i do not chase okay if you guys need me i'm always here um and um my link is in my bio so if any of you guys do want private readings i have started back taking private readings as well um but y'all definitely be careful of the scammers that's out there um also you guys if this reading resonate with you tap the stream so that we allow other people to come in and receive a message um so you guys we're gonna go ahead and jump in here and see what's coming in for this week okay this is gonna be for march the 7th i'm gonna say march the 7th to march the we're gonna say the 11th okay so let's see spirit show me what i need to see for the collective what do they need to know what do they need to know spirit what's coming in for the collective march the 7th to the 11th <clears throat> okay <laughs> so <laughs> bottom of the deck we got sudden will so I am picking up you guys that something is changing regarding your income or your finances here. You can have some unexpected income to come in. For some of you guys, you could be wary, you know, regarding your bills or if you're not going to have enough to pay for something. But I feel like things are going to change around for you. Um, we also got marriage here. So I don't know if somebody want to marry you or somebody is wanting to come in and um somebody could be wanting to come in and tie you guys down. Okay. Um, but I'm also picking up the energy of divine feminine, divine masculine energy. You guys, if you have been feeling unbalanced, you need to make sure you are balancing both energies here because this is definitely going to help you. Um, we are in a lot of heavy in energy at this time. We're going through like an energy storm. For some of you guys, you could be uh, still operating in fear or doubt. Or you could be afraid about something. Or you, you're you um, experiencing a lot of confusion. I feel like spirit could be calling you to... Um, I'm here to readjust. I got this, this same message last night. You need to readjust your life or realign something in your life here. Okay, if something is constantly coming up, it's the reason why it's coming up. Spirit is wanting for you to see something or learn something. Uh, but we also got occupation. So y'all, I'm picking up that there is a change that's coming in with your job or your career your project or something you're creating here i feel like you guys are going to be putting a lot of energy and a lot of work in yourself y'all could be staying up late at night because it's like this lamp is here y'all could be staying up late at night working on yourself or working on your business okay and i feel like this is definitely going to affect your income and i feel like it's for the better good we also got main mail coming in in reverse so for some of you guys I feel like um, you could have somebody who's wanting to come back from the past. Okay, this person could be wanting to come in and work things out with you. This is also somebody who want to prevent you from getting away or they want to tie you down. So I'm picking up spirit is wanting for you to be aware of this. This could be somebody who's expecting money from you or income. So be aware that there are people who... Um, still don't have the best intentions here and i feel like it's because they they know you got some type of sudden wealth coming in or they know that um 
they, they know that you guys are more balanced or more stable than them and it's like they're trying to come in because they look at you as a supply so i'm definitely hearing you guys be careful okay let's see <clears throat> we're gonna pour some more from my deck put this over here but I'm definitely seeing something regarding you guys' career or your job. And, like, the more you put energy into this, um, the more you're going to see a better outcome. Okay? I'm hearing don't give up hope. Don't give up faith. If you feel like um, things are very heavy at this time, like I said, it's a reason why you're feeling this. So, Spirit could definitely be wanting you to re-evaluate or make sure that you're not working or overdo... Um, overextending your energy as well it's time for you to focus okay i'm here really tap into your creativity this week this is going to help you spirit show me what i need to see for the collective what do they need to know oh i definitely feel that cosmic storm we got mars coming in in the reverse that scorpio and aries energy but some of you guys you could definitely be in your emotions or like your um you could be like very aggressive or I'm almost picking up like defensive. You could be blocking yourself from other people as well. Oh, hold on, y'all. We got cancer coming in in the reverse. I'm definitely picking up moody. For some of you guys, you could be very moody. Okay, this week. Or somebody could be moody that's around you. I'm definitely hearing you guys protect your energy. So the first card we got out, like I said, this is Mars. So you guys, um, like this could be you or this could be people around you. I'm actually picking this up for like the collective. I feel like a lot of you guys done got tired or you're exhausted. It feel like the weight of the world is on your shoulders at this time. You feel like you need to defend um, yourself or you need to, um, I'm hearing block certain people in your life. Um, I feel like you guys are going through a very tough time at this time. We also got light worker coming out in a reverse. For some of you guys, you could definitely be a light worker here. But um, yeah, I'm picking up that there is like an emotional imbalance with you. And spirit could be calling you to work on this at this time. For some of you, it's like you're not aware of this. You might not be conscious of what's going on around you. I feel like the energy that's going on right now is to show us something or to uh, make us sit down and reevaluate something in our life that needs to change. For some of you guys, you're still operating in fear. You could be afraid of this change. It's like you're craving this new change, but at the same time, you're fearing it because it's like you're stepping outside the box you're stepping into the unknown but you know that something in your life needs to change here okay for some of you you might not really know why you feeling what you're feeling but this is why uh we also got cancer coming in in a reverse so somebody could be coming in uh for you guys i feel like for some of you you could have been dealing with a cancer but this is somebody who's very manipulative this could also be somebody who's clinging to your energy as well i feel like um i just heard upset so this person could be upset because you guys are choosing to push them away this is also somebody who's um suppressing their feelings or how they feel about you or a situation here and i feel like i feel like this person is lost this is somebody who really don't know which way to turn or which way to go in their life um this could definitely be somebody who's keeping secrets I feel like for some of you guys, you really don't know what all is going on with this person. They're keeping you in the dark about a lot that's going on in their life. This is somebody who's been avoiding talking you, talking to you or when they talk to you, they don't tell you the truth. I'm hearing beat around the bush. This person is very dishonest and I feel like you have suffered from multiple, <clears throat> multiple betrayals from this person. Okay. This could definitely be an energy vampire. So spirit is warning for you guys. Like I said, do not get distracted. Do not lose focus. This is something that's trying to throw your energy off. 
So, um, I'm also picking up that this person could be looking at you as like a narcissist supply because I'm hearing empty, depleted. This is somebody who, um, somebody who's trying to fill a void. I'm, I'm picking up emotionally, but also material. Okay. I feel like they could be suffering really bad, especially regarding their finance. Uh, with the Ace of Fire, of uh, Ace of Fire being here for a lot of you guys, you are moving on. I also feel like you guys are going to be creating. It's something that you're working on, or something that you're looking at in your life, and it's like you're coming up with a lot of creative ideas on how to move forward. Okay, because I feel like for your past life, like things was unsustainable. Okay, I feel like a lot of you guys don't went through a lot, and and you're realizing that you cannot keep moving on this way. That this is actually sucking your energy dry so it's like you guys are realizing that you have a lot of talents you have a lot of gifts and spirit could definitely be calling you at this time to uh regain your inner strength i just heard step into your fire energy okay um let's see y'all i'm gonna pull a couple of more yeah step into your fire energy you guys make sure you're grounding yourself Okay, so we got watching coming out in reverse. Somebody is definitely wanting to come in and talk to you, but it's like they don't know what to say. They could feel very guilty or they feel rejected by you because for a lot of you, you don't call this person out. Okay, they're having a hard time facing their fears as well. We also got the King of Swords. So I do feel like there's somebody who's coming in to talk to you. Um... But this is somebody who's not operating in the hard space. This person is operating um, in their in their mind, their um, mentality. It's like they're trying to come up with a strategy or a plan to get you back or to. Um, it's like they're trying to talk you into doing something. OK, and this could be to help them, but this could also be to like get you back here as well. I'm also picking up that this person could be throwing you guys energy off because um, we got the King of Swords and a light worker coming up here and light worker came in in reverse. So like I said, the King of Swords is somebody who operate in their mind. So this person could be sending you guys psychic attacks or they're trying to um, telepathically communicate with you. And for some of you guys, you are unaware why you're feeling the way you're, you're feeling. And it's because this person is trying to pull on your energy here. <clears throat> I definitely feel like for some of you guys, you're going to receive some type of communication here. Uh, we also got Libra coming out. So I'm picking up you guys, like I said, make sure you're taking time out to balance your energy. Right before I started my live reading, I did like a 10 minute uh, meditation where I realigned and balanced my chakras and I feel so much better now. So spirit is definitely wanting you guys to take time out and find your, um, I just heard find your peaceful place or yeah, find you a peaceful place where you can connect, where you can ground yourself and balance your energy here. Okay, this is going to be very important. We also got Mercury coming up as well. And this is Gemini and Virgo energy. So Mercury also talks about like communication. So for some of you guys, for some of you guys, you could work in the public eye or you are a speaker. You could be a motivational speaker or somebody who's very... um. Uh, inspirational or you could be an influencer I feel like spirit could be calling you guys to balance your energy at this time because the energy on the planet is very high this could be causing you guys to um, this could this could be causing you guys to fear you know fear what it is that you're doing or it's like for some of you guys it's like you you can't really speak your truth okay I'm definitely picking up that you guys make sure that um that you're taking time out to see why you're feeling the way that you're feeling here. I'm also picking up you guys. For a lot of you, you could be like a messenger of God. You could be a priest or like a preacher or um, like, like I said, somebody who's spiritual. Spirit is definitely calling you guys to speak, but I feel like you need to balance your energy because you're feeling everyone right now. You can feel like the energy on the planet at this time. And I feel like it's very heavy. 
A lot of people are worried, stressed, they're in anxiety. And so spirit is wanting for you to make sure that you are protecting your energy so that you can deliver messages or so that you can speak um, what spirit is trying to tell you, like spirit can speak through you. Because if you're blocked in your mind, you're going to block um, the flow of the energy. Are you going to block messages that your ancestors and your spirit guides is trying to tell you here? Spirit, what else? Yeah, I definitely picked up on this, you guys. I got a, it's a couple of scenarios regarding this. We got the heart chakra coming out in reverse. For some of you, you have been closing off your heart chakra here. Um, and I feel like it's because of everything that you've been through. For some of you guys, you feel like you trusted the wrong people or you gave your heart to the wrong people here. And um, it's like, I don't know why I'm seeing like a, a bob wire fence and I'm seeing like pit bulls around this. Like you guys are really protecting your, your heart, but this is actually closing your heart off. And this is why you're feeling this fear, this anxiety, um, grief, and you're worrying. Spirit is wanting for you to remove the pain, remove all of this regret, remove it from your heart and open your heart space so that you can attract the things that you love and not just relationships. This could also be projects or creative ideas or, or thoughts, okay, things that's going to come in and transform your life. But I'm picking up for some of you guys, you don't close your heart chakra off and it's time to open this. This is what's keeping you stuck. Okay, we also got this came out under secrets. So I'm picking up that the person that's wanting to come in towards you. This person has a closed heart chakra and I feel like they they really ain't aware or they're not focusing on this at this time. Um, this is somebody who could be in a lot of grief because for some of you guys, you know, this person's secrets. I'm also picking up that this person could be very jealous. They could be afraid that you're about to get away. This is definitely like a narcissist here. And I feel like um, I feel like this person wasn't born like this. This is something that happened to this person over time. I'm also, I'm also picking up that this person could be overly defensive as well. Very, very guarded energy. And I'm also hearing that this person is very codependent on people. Okay, this could be people around them or they could be codependent on you. Okay, um, this person could also be as upset because they know that you got new love that's about to come into your life here. And it's like they're trying to prevent you to get from getting away because like I said, they look at you as being a supply. We got inner childhood wounding. This came out in the reverse. So... <clears throat> This could have been somebody who was tied to someone else as well. And I, I feel like the both of them was feeding off of each other. This is somebody, they was feeding off of each other negativity or feeding off of each other's energy. But we got, we also got inner child coming out in a reverse. So I'm picking up that spirit. It could be forcing this person to work on their inner child. But I'm picking up that this person might not be listening, but... I'm hearing this person is going to get the idea very soon that they're going to have to put in the work in themselves. I'm also hearing that for a lot of you guys, spirit is calling you as well to work on your inner childhood woundings. But like I said, you guys, you don't have to be a child to be wounded. Like I feel like for a lot of us, we went through a lot as children, but I'm also picking up, um, that could have been a root of the problem, but I'm also picking up that this happened throughout life or throughout the relationships that you had here. For some of you, you could be seeking counseling or advice from people who have worked on themselves or healed themselves or you could be seeing like a psychiatrist or something or you feel like you need to talk to someone if you feel like you need to talk to someone y'all y'all definitely need to reach out here um work on grounding yourself as well and setting strong boundaries in your life and i'm also hearing this spirit is calling you guys to forgive forgive yourself and forgive the people from your past in order to release yourself from these chains spirit what else why is the ace of <clears throat> why is the ace of fire here <laughs> we got divine masculine energy this came out in the upright <laughs> and this came uh this came out under the ace of fire so for some of you guys you're definitely going to be stepping into your divine masculine energy you're going to be going after your dreams your goals your ambitions um, you're going to be tapping into your creativity as well. And I'm definitely picking up on like a fire energy from this divine masculine here. 
Uh, like I said, you guys, it's new beginnings that's coming in your life. For some of you, you've been operating in your divine feminine, but y'all, you haven't been operating in your divine masculine. You definitely need to balance this energy. But I'm also picking up, you guys, you got a divine masculine that's coming towards you. And this didn't come out in the reverse. If this came out in the reverse, I would say this person is very toxic and, you know, distorted. But this came out in the upright. So for some of you guys, you definitely are going to be attracting your life partner in here and just start by you freeing your heart you need to free your heart and open your heart so you can attract this in your life okay um this is definitely somebody who's very wise and very loyal as well i feel like you guys are get gonna get a sense of security when you're around this person um this is somebody who's very strong i feel like this person is not weak in the flesh like this is somebody who's overcame that i just heard a boss Okay, I'm also picking up that this person has also saw a lot of firm boundaries in their life as well. I feel like the two of you are definitely going to be a match. And look, we got a karmic partner. So for some of you guys, you don't walk away from a karmic partner, but somebody that you're dealing with is about to walk away from a karmic partner here. And I feel like this person is about to learn a major lesson. Because um, I feel like something done blew up in this person's face. There could have definitely been a major physical altercation. I'm hearing something about court. Somebody could have pressed charges. But I'm picking up that um, this person is going through um, an enlightenment. Or this person is awakening to uh, what's truly going on around them. Um, th this person is awakening to the people that they've been involved in themselves with as well. It's about time, ain't it? Let's see, y'all. Spirit, show me what I need to see for the collective March the 7th to the 11th. What do they need to know? So, you guys, you are going through a renewal at this time. And it's because, you guys, you're not fighting against the ties no more, okay? You are embracing this change. You're embracing this energy, even though it's heavy. Spirit is calling you to work in this energy at this time because this is definitely going to help you evolve and push you forward into the future here, okay? For some of you guys, you could be water signs. Are you going to be, um, I'm hearing something about taking a trip. For some of you guys, you could live by water or you could uh, be taking a trip to a beach or something here but you're definitely going through some type of renewal phase in your life uh we also got divine masculine energy this came out in the upright so i'm picking up that the divine masculines are going through a healing at this time they're going through a renewal these people are coming out of the dark and coming into the light here um and i feel like it's a much needed change whether you a woman or a man Okay, we're talking about energies here. Yeah, some, we also got material world. I feel like something is changing regarding this person's material world as well. And that could also be forcing them to change their ways. Spirit, what's going on with the collective? What else they need to know? Oh, we got I love you. This came out in a reverse. Some of you guys, you definitely done freed yourself from this person here. This is somebody who was trying to keep your love locked down. Because I'm hearing Kanye West. Keep your love locked down. <laughs> so somebody was trying to keep you locked down. But I feel like y'all done freed yourself from this. You done got the key and you done unlocked this and you gone. Okay. We also got chemistry. For some of you guys, you got somebody that's going to come into your life. You guys are definitely going to have a strong chem, um, chemistry connection here. I feel like you're going to be drawn to this person as well. This person is going to be drawn to you. And I feel like you guys, you are going to share a lot of happiness. I'm also hearing intimate moments. And this is not just sexually, but like actually engaging in conversations that the both of you care about or... Um, talking about things that the both of you always wanted or you dreamed about for a lot of you guys you're definitely about to meet your match here look we also got awakening so you like i said you guys we got a lot of divine masculines that's awakening at this time and i'm also i'm picking up this for the collective okay a lot of people are waking up uh from illusions or things that's been holding them back Spirit, show me what I need to see. 
So we got reunion. This came out sideways, so I'm going to take this in reverse. For some of you guys, if you was dealing with a twin flame relationship, thank you for the hearts, boo. If you was dealing with a twin flame relationship, you guys are walking away from this. I feel like um, you're going... you. Your spirit is calling you to um, to go after people that deserve your energy or people who are aligned with your soul or aligned, aligned with your spirit here. For a lot of you guys, you're definitely walking away from a false. I'm hearing a false twin flame. Thank you, Valencia, for the heart. I mean, the, the flowers, boo. Okay, look, we got travel, and I picked this up last night too, you guys. We got travel and distance. Some of you guys, you're about to travel or you're taking a traveling job. You could be moving, relocating, or um, I'm hearing a home, but this could definitely be because of a job here as well. For some of you guys, you're just going to be traveling or taking vacation trips. I feel like you're going to be doing things that you love to do or things that you never imagined that you would do. Okay, I'm definitely picking up adventurous. Okay, do things that feed your soul here. Thank y'all for all the hearts. <laughs> I mean, the uh, I keep saying hearts. All the roses. I love y'all. Thank y'all. Okay, so we got solid ground and foundation. I feel like this is like the primary energy that's going on here. You guys, you are definitely seeking stability in your life. Okay, I'm also picking up that you want something solid. There could there you could have been in a situation in the past that was really flaky or um I'm hearing inconsistent. This could be jobs or relationships as well. And so you guys, you're building your foundation on a solid ground. Okay. I feel like you're stacking your bricks one brick at a time, but you're laying them perfectly. You could get a little tired and drained from this, but sometimes spirit is trying to see how bad we want something. And I feel like for a lot of you, you're not gonna give up. You're gonna reach within and find it and strengthen you because you know you deserve this. Okay, I just heard you deserve it. You deserve it, future. <laughs> yeah, you deserve this in your future. Spirit, show me what I need to see. <clears throat> we got love letter coming out in a reverse. So for some of you guys, um, somebody could be wanting to send you a love letter or they want to tell you how they feel. But I feel like... Um, this person could feel blocked off from you as well. I'm also picking up, you guys, make sure, because I'm, I'm hearing something about don't get distracted because you do got new people that's coming into your life. So make sure you're not in your head and you stay open, okay? You stay in the flow of life because you don't want to miss this divine masculine that's about to come in, okay? Or this life partner that's about to come in. But somebody is definitely trying to send you guys a message. And this could definitely be somebody from the past too, y'all. <clears throat> so I'm definitely seeing, look, we got a lot of balance that's coming in. And it's because you guys are learning to balance your masculine and your feminine energy. And I keep hearing step into your fire energy. For some of you guys, you definitely could fear this. Okay, you could be afraid of this change that's coming. Know that things are going to get lighter for you. But it's a reason why you're going through what you're going through at this time. I just heard embrace it. Look, we also got secrets in hidden. So, y'all, secrets done came out twice. So, for those of you who know that you got people that's wanting to come back, they kept a lot of secrets from you, that they can't be trusted. Trust your intuition. Do not let these people distract you or throw you off course. If you're always thinking about the past, guess what? You're going to get stuck in the past. You have to energetically disconnect and be present, okay? Um, yeah, that's what I'm picking up, you guys. It's time to be present here. And look, we got distortion and mass. So, yeah, this is somebody who want to come back into your life as well. And I feel like whoever this person is, they still haven't changed. This is somebody who have um, neurological disorders or um, chemical imbalances. This person could be schizophrenia or bipolar as well. If you guys know you was dealing with somebody like this, know that this person still has not changed. Okay, um... 
This person has not changed. And I feel like they're trying to wear a mask to come back into your life. But for a lot of you guys, you can definitely see through this BS. So, y'all, let's see. We're going to pull some trinkets and um, see what Spirit got to say. Spirit, who do I need to see from March the 7th to March the 11th? What do the collectors need to know at this time? Hmm. Okay. So, you guys, I feel like something is about to rush in. Something is definitely rushing in here with this stallion. This could definitely be this new person, but I'm also picking up that things are about to take off in your life. You guys are moving forward with willpower and determination. You're refusing to let obstacles stop you. This is having that inner strength to go after the things that you have been working for or things you've been wishing for. We also got a heart. But it got like a, a nurse's hat on it. So I told y'all, spirit is wanting for you guys to heal your heart. This is what's causing you guys to be blocked. Um, the only way you can do this is if you disconnect from people and you spend time with yourself in spirit. Meditate, ground your energy, realign your, your chakras as well. Open your heart chakra. I definitely feel like by you guys doing this, you're going to be attracting love to you. Okay, this is somebody who also done been through a lot, but I feel like you guys could be on the same path. This person had to heal their heart chakra as well. And we also got the tower. Okay, this is like the alpha, alpha tower, alpha tower. Um, but anyway, I just heard Paris. Some of you guys, you could live in Paris or you're taking a trip to Paris here. But I feel like um, I just heard it's not about what's on the other side. It's the climb. So <clears throat> spirit is wanting for you guys to embrace the process. Don't focus so much on the outcome, but take it one day at a time. Okay, definitely restore your energy. I'm hearing you almost there. This could have been a long journey. You could have faced a lot of challenges as well. But when you do get to the top, it's going to be so worth it. Okay, this, this journey is definitely going to be worth it. I'm also picking up for some of you guys. You're about to build an empire for yourself. Okay, this is definitely going to bring in a lot of success and abundance, especially regarding your finances. Okay. So, you guys, that's what I got. I hope y'all enjoyed these messages. <laughs> Thank you, guys. Thank you for the, um, I keep wanting to say hearts. Thank you for the roses, y'all. I appreciate y'all. Thank y'all. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Abundance is coming in. Okay. Okay, boo, I got you. Abundance is definitely coming in. Thank you guys so much. I love y'all. If y'all enjoyed this reading, tap the screen for me a couple of times so I can, you know, bring more people in here. And um, oh, you guys, I love y'all. Um, like I was telling um some of you guys in the beginning, for those of you who wasn't here, there are scammers out there that's pretending to be me. They're adding extra la uh, letters or extra numbers to like my name. Um, they've been inboxing people for readings. I will never, ever inbox you for a reading, okay? I attract. I do not chase, okay? If you guys ever need me, I'm here, okay? You you come to me. I wait till you come to me. I don't go out and, and collect people or recruit people to for my readings. I don't do that, okay? My proof is in the pudding. For those of you who don't got readings by me, you know I'm legit, and um, I love y'all. Also, y'all, um, I changed my donations um, I will be taking $15 donations if you guys have any questions that you want me to answer. I give detailed readings, and that's why I had to change my prices because um, a lot of people was pulling on my energy, and I felt so overwhelmed. And, like, Spirit called me to set my butt down and ground myself and readjust my life and see what it is that I needed to change, and I had to do it. Um you know, I'm hearing you guys know your worth, okay? Know that you are valuable and what you possess, your talents, your gifts, they are valuable, okay? Don't let nobody put a price on your name. You set the price, okay? You set the standards in your own life, okay?